Hey folks, I'm Chris and I'm your Commander Mechanic. Let's talk CEDH. I've had requests to feature some new high-powered brews on the channel since it's been a while, so I wanted to kick things off with my personal CEDH brew. Vadric Astral Archmage Is It Storm, or as I call him, Vadric the Punch Wizard in Swole Storm. The concept for this deck was birthed from a few things. First, my casual Vadric build I did a few months ago, linked up top. I had put this deck together and played it on stream, and I found it to be strong and consistent in a way that just wasn't suitable for casual tables. I was stringing together turn 3 or 4 wins regularly, even without optimizing with fast mana. I initially tried to tone it down a bit, but the damage was done, and I wanted to see how high I could push the power. Second, I had been talking to Callahan of the Mind Sculptors as the MLC, Major League Commander, tournament was getting underway. We were doing some pre-tournament analysis, linked up top, and I noticed that the curated decks for drafting were kind of stale. Specifically, the Is It decks didn't really have anything new, and the Red Blue Storm list included was Mizics of the Is Magnus. That list hasn't been touched in ages, and it was thought to have generally fallen out of favor. So that was my catalyst. Let's push a strong casual deck up to high power levels. Cut the brakes and see how fast this puppy can go. General gist of the deck is that this is a storm deck that looks to assemble one of several lines with multiple redundant pieces, while being interactive and keeping resources high. It is a little mana hungry, specifically for colored mana, and requires some key pieces to really pop off. In many cases, this means keeping Vadric around for a turn or two, which is the deck's biggest concern. You see, Vadric is pretty unique in that he's basically a goblin electromancer in the command zone, reducing the cost of spells you cast by one. But the longer he stays out and the higher his power gets, either naturally through the day-night cycle or via a few pump spells, we can start discounting everything we cast by a lot. Vadric turns pump spells like Titan Strength or Fists of Flame or Seething Anger into rituals, discounting the colorless mana on spells you cast afterwards. In particular, this is helpful in casting some bigger payoff spells like Pull From Tomorrow, Drown in Dreams, or Stroke of Genius, in some cases with X being high enough that we can draw our entire libraries or mill our opponents out. Even in a baseline scenario, reducing the cost of a Time Twister, Wheel of Fortune, or Past in Flames down to a single mana is a huge benefit, ensuring we can make a much better use of resources when our spells mostly only cost us a single colored mana. But the biggest interaction is with buyback spells. In particular, we have Seething Anger, Haze of Rage, and Searing Touch. Vadric's cost reduction reduces buyback costs, which means we can continue casting these spells over and over and over again for just a single mana, either making Vadric's power huge or burning our opponents out. So how do we keep generating mana to cast them over and over? Three creatures help here. Birgi, God of Storytelling, makes us a mana whenever we cast a spell, so she covers the red mana we need to cast these three buyback spells over and over and over again. Stormkiln Artist makes us a treasure whenever we cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell. In the case of Haze of Rage, with both buyback and storm, the artist here can make us an obscene amount of treasures. And the new Displacer Kitten, as long as we have a mana rock that makes a colored mana, the kitten here can blink it whenever we cast a spell, untapping it, and let us tap it again to make the mana to keep casting these spells over and over again. The core line is that, Vadric with sufficient power, one of these creatures, one of these buyback spells, and any payoff spell. Easy enough. But that's not the only line. As I mentioned, the biggest issue is keeping Vadric around, so we do need a few lines that don't require Vadric. First is my favorite budget combo line of Twin Flame and Dual Caster Mage. This easy peasy combo makes us infinite hasty Dual Caster Mages to just run over opponents. I did a combo primer on this with the Spike Feeders linked up top if you want to know more about it. The second is Underworld Breach Loops. Using Underworld Breach, Lion's Eye Diamond, and Brain Freeze or Wheel of Fortune, we can essentially tutor anything we want out of our graveyard, eventually looping enough times to brain freeze all of our opponent's libraries. This line works fine without Vadric, but even better with Vadric, as we can be netting bonus mana from LED each loop to keep casting interaction out of our yard. Apart from that, a lot of the deck speaks for itself. 
cast Vadric early, get two incidental counters early, and use the bonus mana from his reduction to start amassing resources, and pop off with actual storm cards in an actual storm deck. I played a few games on stream recently with my friends Modanon, Flower from the MLC, and Cam from playing with Power. That video is linked up top if you want to watch. If you want to see the full list, you can follow the link in the description below to my sponsor, Moxfield. Moxfield is the best deck building platform in the world, and with CEDH decks in particular, their advanced playtesting features let you try a deck for consistency without having to break the bank investing in a deck that might not do the thing. Follow my profile for more new brews on a regular basis. Let me know what you think about this list and if you want to see more CEDH content here on the channel. I love high power magic as much as I love casual magic, so let's put together some cool brews. And as always folks, good luck and have fun.